everyone and welcome to my channel Hisama Artwork. In this video I'm going to show you guys how to do animations in tiled uh, for mods for Stardew Valley specifically I have here a building from a Stardew Valley mod that I'm working on as you can see I have the water animated and also this uh, curtain here so usually if you want to do an animation you go to the right here down below where you can see I have this little uh, wrench on a piece of paper and it says edit tile set it is next to the trash can so I click on that and it opens this other menu and it will have like a dash here before the name of your file in my case it is dash gb buildings and so on and here for example I have the animations already made and I put them over the tie set and I double click to make sure I have it selected and then I click on this tile animation editor so up here in the toolbar menu up, up right next to this um, multicolored uh, shape I have like this camera and I click on it and it opens the tile that I selected and you can see here um, the tiles that form the animation and you can select how long you want the animation to be I have it 300 milliseconds because I feel that that looks best for what I need and then you hit apply when you do this and that saves whatever tiles you have selected and here you can see I have all of them all the animations put one under the uh, another and I go from up to down it is a circular animation of course there are um, other ways you can is you don't have to have it vertical here I have it horizontal these are the vanilla tiles um, from Maru's home I didn't make these uh, we made the other ones for the curtain at the entrance of the bathhouse and again, I have selected that tile, I've added the uh, tiles that I wanted to animate, and I've kept an order, and then I have the animation made. Uh, here as well, for the windmills, as you can see, I have them all selected, and I have one, two, three, and then I go uh, the next row so there really isn't uh, any order to this you can put them however you want you just have to make sure you remember uh, what you've done this card I don't want to save the changes and I'm gonna go to the tile set for the water here to show you guys so I have the beach tiles and then I made some other tiles with dirt and water those of you that have played Stardew Valley, you might be familiar with this animation. And again, I select, I click the edit tile set. Then it opens. You can see I have for the waterfall as well. And here from my left to right, I have the animation for that. And let's see what other animation I can do here let's just do a random one here just to have like the colors change and I click the tile animation and then let's see I select some colors I'll select like random things just to have the color change so I have green I have blue and you can see here a preview of the animation. I'm moving my mouse, hope you see that. As fortunately, you cannot zoom in on that, so it can get a bit tricky. Usually I write down what I have. And let's edit the speed. So I'll have 600, 
600. Okay, gotta check that one. It did not save. 600. And last one. 600. And I have apply. And as you can see here, I have this little transparent tile here. And I have to remember where I put it. And I'll save. Control S or you can go to file and click save. As you can see here, the keyboard shortcut is Control plus S. I recommend you remember that and press it constantly. <laughs> so now I have the animation made in my tile set here on the tile set that I chose. And let's go to always front to make sure I see it. And I have placed it. And now you can see I have the animation. In this case, it's just some textures that are changing color, and I chose this to make sure that you guys can see this very easily. Uh, if you put tile sets that have water, or um, like that antenna, or a cloth uh, animated in the wind, or windmill, whatever you need, um, now you can animate it. So again, go to edit tile set camera, drag and drop whatever tiles you want. If you want to delete something, just remove them. I press the delete button, click apply, and now I no longer have that animation. As you can see, you have like this little film from when film was on uh, that cellulose with silver. And that has disappeared now because I've erased the tiles. I'm going to click save again and as you can see now it's disappeared and you can do all sorts of animations with this um, here I have a fountain textures donated somebody else already made the animations I will list all of the donors for these textures uh, some of them we've made ourselves others we took from vanilla here are the windmills that you saw animated previously uh, it still needs to be like polished a bit, but once you see it animated, it's easier to see where you've made the mistakes. And to keep track of uh, your tile sets, if you're having a hard time doing that, you can, let's see, oh, I gotta go in the one with the windmills and was on this tile set. There we go. So now I'm going to open Photoshop a bit for you guys to kind of show you what I've done inside the texture. So this is my tile set. this is what I did in order to help me keep track of how I should do the <laughs> animation. So, of course, you don't have to do it this way. There are other programs that do the animation uh, better, like previews. Um, Photoshop is not a great program to do uh, pixel art for. It lacks a lot of features, but uh, this is just how I chose to work, and I've counted them to make sure that uh, <laughs> the animation works well and that I've chosen the right um, tiles. So if my animation was screwed up, um, then I wouldn't see that the one was turning red, blue, red, blue, red, blue. If it was turning um, red, blue, blue, red, blue, red, blue, or if instead of a one, I would see a two, <laughs> then I would s realize that um, I screwed up my order of the tile sets and then what I would do is fix it in the tiled animation system and then I would turn off this from Photoshop and then save over it because whatever uh, changes you make here uh, you can save them over in uh, tiled 
and it updates automatically. I'm going to show you a test here. And I'm just going to be uh, making like some splotches here. And I save this PNG because I need the transparency. Of course, you don't need to. Uh, but when you do save to actually use the file, save it as a PNG. And I go back into Tiled, and as you can see, it automatically updated. And this is uh, what you're going to see now. This blue and orange that I put in Photoshop. So I didn't edit anything in Tiled. It updated from Photoshop or whatever pixel art program you're using. And I'm going to delete this because I don't need it. Uh, let me show you with the reference. Maybe you will see better if it helps any of you. It helped me. Uh, I've talked with other uh, pixel art animators that use Tiled and do mods for um, uh, Stardew Valley and they don't uh, do it like me. So it just depends like what you need to do. And if it didn't flash correctly, then I would know that I've uh, made a mistake in the order of the tiles. Let me show you again. And as you can see, it was easier for me to select the tiles and make sure that I'm not grabbing the wrong one. Because when you're having like a more complex animation like that, you don't want it to, to have any issues and be misshapen because it can be hard to find out what uh, you screwed up. So here for two, I have all my twos, one under the other, uh, color change, inverted just to make sure that um, I put them all in the right order. And it was tedious, it's true. Um, if you're doing a video game uh, and you have a lot of animations, probably doing it with Photoshop and Tiled uh, isn't the best way to go about it. I'm sure there are better ways to do this, but uh, for Stardew Valley mods um, and what programs I had available free and things like that and what programs I already had and experience with, there was this was the best compromise for me and um, that's how I chose to do it so if you know something better please let us know in the comments below um, not everybody's uh, in my situation so if there are better options out there for people that have different needs um, again please share your thoughts and experience in the comments below and help each other out thank you for watching hope you found it useful and take care everyone. Bye bye.